Okay, I wanted to come back on here again um, to follow up on this Jay story. I, most of us know that he's fine. Um, I know most of my videos are strictly just Heather. Uh, every now and then I will do a random video if I feel compelled to it. I didn't really feel like doing a video about this, but then I saw, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, of course, the very first thing was Janelle was saying, oh, this has, Jace didn't leave because of me and David. It had nothing to do with me and David. Um, and then she said something about, I believe she said something about Jace being off of his medication or being taken off of his medication. And then finally, I saw from the Ashley's Reality Roundup, where I'm reading from right now, and where I will be reading from, I will get to that in a second, um, they were talking about, when was this? This was six days ago, and it's, apparently, they were fighting. David and Janelle were fighting six days ago, before Jace didn't come home after school okay and the reason why I'm saying this most of y'all most of y'all are very well like y'all are y'all ain't new to the streets you know and you, you know your way around you know the rules you know I have to commentate it's pretty obvious sometimes there's trolls sometimes there's ignorant people sometimes there's just people who are being assholes so the last time I did a video which was strictly very visible. I don't know these people, so I don't understand, like, because someone just made a comment, and they were like, oh, thanks for reading an article from TMZ. Do your own research or something like that. So I'm just like, I, I don't even know if I replied, honestly, because if I read anything or if I get anything, I'm going to credit and tell y'all where I got it from and where I'm reading it from. Do you think I fuck with Janelle? How the hell do you think I would know this boy is missing? What do you think I do? I am a mother and I have a full-time job. And being a mom is a full-time job on its own. So, you, like, that just, like, baffled me whenever someone was, like, so butthurt that I was reading an article from TMZ. And so bad, I just want to be like, ma'am, on my thumbnail, it, it, it says TMZ. Like, I'm reading it from TMZ. So, just like I did then, what I'm going to do now is let you guys know, I am reading from the Ashley's Reality Roundup. I follow them on Instagram. They cover a lot of people. I have been so busy I don't watch much of anything anymore, but whenever I used to, like, they had the tea, and it was always right. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go backwards. So, where it started. I mean, not where it started, obviously, but, so this one was six days ago by the Ashley. The fight continues, so obviously there was a fight going on before former team mom two star janelle evans accuses husband david eason of stealing her debit cards vows to start selling his things that's crazy like if you're stealing things my immediate reaction is you're on drugs <laughs> like i'm not not to be judgmental but that's just usually like you better figure it out I'm going to try not, I'm going to try to be quiet and just read the article for you guys. I, you know, y'all know how I am. The battle on the land rages on with Janelle Evans once again taken to social media to blast her husband, David Eason, whom she has been fighting with on Facebook for the last few days. In today's episode of As a Swamp Turns, Janelle called out David for a variety of things, including allegedly stealing her debit cards and making her pay for everything. 
Janelle has stated frequently in the past that David refuses to work. <clears throat> but yet you're still with this motherfucker. Like, okay, sorry. This gives me, this is like a big ass pause for me. So I feel like I get to talk. You, I don't even know how many kids she has now. What, three, four? And then David has at least one? I don't know. Even if y'all just have one kid. Y'all got kids. Y'all have got to show those kids what it's like. Like, this is the dad that, that I need to be. This is the mom that I need to be. This is the man that I need to look for for whenever I start dating. This is a woman that I need to look for whenever I start dating. This, like, it, it irritates me so bad. And on top of that, y'all just got Jace back, and he is the oldest one, I believe. I don't know. I think he's older than David's daughter. Either way, they're around the same age. This is such an important age. Like, th that age is so... Depth oh, my gosh. Like middle school age and early high school like that age is so important so whatever he hears and sees even if he thinks in his head like even if he was with Barbara the whole time and he thought this is probably going on that fucks with him man and it makes me so mad like Janelle is just being a pushover and it pisses me off like get away from that motherfucker like yeah, that's cute. That's that's cool. Like you can make knives. That's a hobby. That's not a job. I don't care if Janelle was on a show like however many years ago. You and this is how I am. And give it or take it, I don't it, it is what it is. It's uh, in my life, it's always been God. And then the man should always be the provider. The woman should be a provider, too, if she wants. Obviously, it's up to the couple. Me, I'm able to work, and I'm able to do whatever I can with my kids. Like, I'm able to take them to school, and I'm able to pick them up if I want to. If I need to work more hours at home, then I work more hours. Thank God, because that is a blessing. Anyways, it just really pisses me off that Janelle is with a piece of shit who's not working. Because all she's doing is showing her kids, yeah, it's fine. Just be with the guy who beats you, yells at you, is mean to your kids. It's fine. Just deal with it. You know? Like, no. Like, she's not standing up for herself, and she's not standing up for her kids. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, but... How, I don't even know how they have lived this long without, like, how are they making money? It is so crazy to me. Like, drop the motherfucker. I'm sorry, but if you're not doing nothing, if David ain't doing nothing, if he if he's not being a husband, if he's not being a dad, bye, bitch. <clears throat> We're back. The Ashley already recapped the social media spurring, spurring, <laughs> twosomes fight from the past few days where Janelle called David a total asshole and David called Janelle a liar, among other things. On Saturday, Janelle stated that she's tired of buying stuff for her employment challenge soulmate. <laughs> Doesn't sound like much of a soulmate. And even called him out for allegedly going to Pound Town with other women during the time they were separated in 2019. And Janelle was living in Tennessee. I remember that. Do y'all remember that? Do y'all remember that? Whenever she was telling everybody that he was beating her and the kids. So she went to Tennessee. And then everybody found out she was a little fucking... She went back to him. He went to Tennessee to visit her. To see the kid. Oh, that shit made me so mad. Oh, that made me so mad. And yes, the Ashley did cringe while typing about Dave going to pound town with anyone. Oh, gosh. You're right, David Eason. I have depression because of you. I've been mentioning my feelings to the public for a few days now. 
Janelle wrote on Facebook before listing all of the things she's sick of. That's dangerous right there. Like, if y'all have a problem, y'all need to keep it between y'all selves. Don't take it to social media. It's dangerous just taking it to your family. So she goes on, Janelle goes on. Stolen debit cards, name calling, buying every toy you want in life, and asking for another motorcycle for weeks now, Janelle began. Janelle continued to list the things she does for David and the things she is upset at him for. Planning and paying for all family trips, having lots of fun in my own house when I was in Tennessee 2019 that I paid for, not coming home until late hours, hearing no one likes you, that's why you don't have friends, on top of lots of other negative things, constantly pushing you off of me because I don't want you to touch me, she wrote. Damn. The constant put down I receive every day is distracting and would discourage anyone from focusing on their life, which I'm not going to let happen ever again, Janelle continued. I'm sick of begging you to change and step up for the family. It's time to start selling. Hashtag mental health awareness. Okay, so that was a Twitter. That was everything that I read. That makes me so mad. So, that was six days ago. You said this shit before. So, like, are you ever going to get serious? And you're going to tell me this has nothing to do with Jace fucking leaving, right? If you can't deal with your fucking ass, bitch ass fucking husband, your kids can't fucking deal with them. But they don't have that choice. They don't get to fucking walk away. They don't get to stand up to them and tell them to fucking leave their house. They have to, le- they have to lean on you. They have to depend on you to do what's right. I'm sitting here pointing a finger like she's in fucking front of me. (laughs) What Janelle plans to start selling is unknown, but in her previous tirade against David, she stated that she and David both own everything they have. When one of Janelle's followers told her to stop posting her dirty laundry for the world to see, Janelle replied, I don't care at this point. I'm sick of him. If it's to that point, y'all need to seek counseling and start thinking about divorce. If he's not willing to change, if you're, you're, you're like, I, that's so stupid. Like, if you're willing to go on Facebook and blast all this shit, and you're letting it be known what he's doing, and then a few days later... Your son is reported as a runaway, but you want to say, oh, this has nothing to do with it. Yeah. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. You better fucking... This is why he wasn't in your fucking custody in the fucking first place. I'm surprised you even got custody of his ass back. Among the 2,000 plus people who liked Janelle's post about David on Facebook was Janelle's ex-husband, Cortland Rogers. Surprisingly, David has not responded to Janelle's latest post. To catch up on the previous Janelle or David online bickering, or as the Ashley calls it, the previous episode of As the Swamp Turns, click here. Okay, now, again, this is, I will be reading the Ashley's Reality Roundup. By the Ashley, this one was three days ago. Janelle Evans' son, Jace, found safe after being reported as a missing runaway. Janelle says Jace didn't leave due to her and David Eason's fighting. Oh my gosh, and he just turned 14 last week. Oh well. Jace has been found safe. I mean, I think it was like within hours. I'm not positive, but it was it was pretty quick. 
wouldn't that be nice? I'm not trying to be mean or rude, but wouldn't that be amazing if all the kids who were reported runaway or missing were found that motherfucking quick? Why does it seem like if you're fucking a celebrity or you're 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 known, you're you're good. Like who the who was it? There was an actor. I actually I I liked the actor. Um, fuck, I can't think of his name right now, but I gotta move on so I could go on with this video. But he, I really liked him, and he was reported missing and it's like they treated him like VIP because he was a celebrity and it makes me so disgusted because it's like you have a child and you have to wait what 24 hours until they like put out anything or they'll start looking oh but if you're fucking famous if people fucking know you but like I said, thank God. I'm glad he was safe. I'm just saying. It it would be nice if that happened with the, all the kids. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I think this is just the original article. He was listed as a runaway on Tuesday. They put out an alert on social media pages. They see, I don't even think they waited 24 hours for him. Which is good. They shouldn't wait 24 hours for any motherfucking kid. Yeah, this was, I already read this one. He was last seen at his school. I thought it was, this one was an updated one. Let me see. TMZ broke the story, adding that they had contacted Janelle's mother, Barbara Evans, for more information. As Ashley pre previously reported, Janelle finally regained custody of Jace from Barbara in March. Barbara had raised the boy since he was born, but after a years-long custody battle with Janelle, agreed to give her custody of Jace. As Ashley previously reported, though, the decision was mainly due to the fact that Barbara could no longer handle Jace, according to the Ashley's resources. And then this is just the same thing where Barbara said that she spoke to Jace Monday night, which was the night before, and everything seemed okay. Um, but at the same time, on the land, it was pretty terrible as the Ashley says so you know what I'm saying like how how are you gonna say I don't know like maybe Barbara didn't want to like I don't know she talks not talk shit about Janelle but if Janelle's doing something wrong she'll call her out so I'm surprised Janelle I don't know maybe Barbara maybe Barbara didn't have any idea what was going on well if it was on social media I don't know Barbara also claimed that she called Janelle on Tuesday before Jace was reported missing, but Janelle did not want to talk to her. Yeah. I have a feeling CP, like, uh, CPS is probably going to be showing up soon. In a statement to TMZ, Janelle said that Jace only ran away because he got in trouble. Because he got in trouble, I hope this explains it more because if the last time he was seen was at school or leaving school, he was probably fucking scared to go home. As a boy mom, kids can act up and rebel, as I'm sure the majority of us all once did as kids too. Jace got in trouble at school. We decided to take his phone away, and that's when he decided to run off. So, wait. So, 
so Jace got in trouble at school. So they went to his school to pick him up. And then took his phone away. And then he left from there. Because they said he was last seen leaving the school. But then I could have freaking sworn I saw somewhere where they said they, they tracked his location from his Snapchat or some shit like that. How were they able to track his location if they took his phone? Anyways, let me read that again. Jace got in trouble at school. We decided to take his phone away, and that's when he decided to run off, she told the site. Jace is a good kid, and we're not dealing with anything that most families don't deal with while raising children. She also insisted that Jace taking off wasn't due to her and David fighting on the land in front of him. It sounds like a guilty conscience to me. You pretty much just told us what exactly happened. <laughs> this has absolutely nothing to do with my situation with David. We do not argue in front of our children or fight in front of our children. Or Janelle, what? You are such a fucking liar. This is a teenage boy being a teenager mad that we decided to take his phone away. Pause. I have a 15 year old. I took her phone away quite a few times. Guess how many times she's tried to run away? None. Zero. I swear if that was to ever fucking happen, there would be a major fucking problem. Something? No. She acts like that's so normal. Like, uh, he just tried to run away because we took his phone. Eh, maybe you should really look at you and David. There's no way y'all don't fight. That, and as a matter of fact, whenever she made that 911 call, whenever she thought she broke her collarbone or something like that, and they were fighting, wasn't the kids home? Didn't you have a whole ass ambulance come? Like, y'all always fighting. Okay, back on. This is a teenage boy being a teenager mad that we decided to take his phone away. After Jace was located, David took to social media to insist that he did try to find the lad. Jace is fine. He has been found. Everyone needs to calm down, David wrote. I was the first one looking for him, so get off my case. Whoa, whoa there, buddy. Why are we so... Oh, y'all seem like y'all, like, I feel like there's more than just arguing going on in that house. Everyone needs to calm down. I'm sorry, motherfucker. People care about the, your stepchild. I was the first one looking for him, so get out of my case. Why? Because you felt bad. The Ashley sources tell her that this is not the first time Jace has left since moving in with Janelle. Wow. There was at least one more instance as well as several when he lived with Barbara. The Ashley will update this story when more info is available. Update. David just posted a rant to Instagram regarding Jace. Oh, Lord. ta 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 you want to come on here assuming all... I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> I feel like y'all need to feel the difference. You want to come on here assuming all kinds of shit about Jace. I've been out here running through the fucking woods for two and a half hours trying to find him. I almost had a fucking heat stroke trying to find this kid. Wow. You know what they told me? Go home. We have drones. We have helicopters. We have dogs. We have ATVs. Dirt bikes. We're going to find them. They told me to go home and make sure he doesn't walk in the door. Okay, the only thing I'm going to say is I believe that because they don't want you in the way and they don't want you frantic and they damn sure don't want you finding your own child. Well, that's not his biological child. 
but they don't want you to f stumble upon anything that's going to, like, no. They, they don't want you to see any of that. Just in case. They don't want you to be in the way. Now, me, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't even want to think about being in that situation. But the way that he says, like, first of all, bitch, you don't have to say this kid. Like, the way that he was talking about him, like, I've been looking for this kid like he's a fucking dog. And he said how, how long he was out there for two and a half hours. I almost had a fucking heat stroke. I'm sorry, Billy, but I... I'm sorry. I don't know why I just called him Billy. Like, there's a lot of Billy Bobs out here that I like. But this bitch, is he stays out. Like, don't he, like, fish and hunt? You know what I'm saying? Don't he stay outside and do campfires? Like, two and a half hours? It ain't that long if you're actually doing what I think. If he's actually the type of country boy, he's not a man. So, if he's actually the person that he portrays himself to be, two and a half hours in the heat ain't shit, bitch. I'm sorry, but the way that he... And then he just was trying to, like... I tried to look for him, but they just wanted me to go home. I'm sure you are the... You and Janelle's probably the last people that he wants to see. Unless Janelle says... Come on, we're leaving. We're moving. <laughs> me and the me and your sisters and brothers are leaving without David. That's he'll probably jump up and fucking get in the vehicle and then run off. And he probably won't fucking run away again. I'm the first one that ran after his ass to try to find him. Don't come on here trying to tell me what the fuck you think is going on. Please. I do all the fucking work around here. I take care of everything around here. And if you think I don't, just because of something someone might tell you when they're mad, you're fucking wrong. And if you think you can assume some shit just because an article you seen because Barbara goes on the internet saying something, she don't even know what the fuck she's talking about, David added. You can't fucking take Barbara's word for it. She's selling articles for money. Got to pay for your retirement somehow. Yeah, that's that. That's the way to make things nice. Yeah, good job, asshole. Again, credit to the Ashley. Um, this was two days ago. Police report reveals Jace Evans was found due to Snapchat location on his phone, despite Team Mom Janelle claiming Jace ran away because she took his phone. Thank you. What the fuck? I thought I was about to lose my damn mind. What the fuck? See, this is shit that I'm talking about. Somebody needs to come check on these kids. I'm sorry, but I don't care. I don't care what you're lying about, but if you are lying about anything, you are fucking covering something up. That don't make no motherfucking sense. Janelle Evans... Teenage son Jace is home after running away from his school on Tuesday, but new details coming in from the police incident report state that authorities were able to find the 14-year-old thanks to Snapchat location on his phone being turned on. This, of course, directly contradicts the explanation the fired Team Mom 2 star gave TMZ on Tuesday regarding Jace running away. As the Ashley previously reported, Janelle claimed that Jace got in trouble at school and we decided to take his phone away and that's when he decided to run off. This is a teenage boy being a teenager mad that we decided to take his phone away. Fucking get her ass. However, according to the police incident report, it appears that Jace had his phone on him, his phone on him when he bolted from his middle school. During the report, as the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department was gathering information, one 911 caller stated that their child, who is friends with Jace, followed him on Snapchat. Followed him on Snapchat. Police were able to determine the former Teen Mom star's son was hiding behind his school in the trees. Wow. 
due to his Snapchat location. Jace reportedly ran from his school on foot after his stepdad, David Easton, arrived to pick him up. That's, yeah, David Easton was probably by his motherfucking self, and that's whenever he probably called Janelle. He disappeared into the woods near the school, causing his principal to call 911. Eventually, search dogs were sent out to look for him. In a rant posted to Instagram on Tuesday after Jace was found, David claimed he nearly got heat stroke from looking for Jace for hours in the woods. The police incident report obtained by the Sun confirmed that David had indeed been looking for Jace and his SUV. Bitch, you ain't got AC in your SUV. In his Instagram rant, David claimed that he and the principal were the first people to go looking for Jace. On the first one that ran after his ass to try to find him, don't come on here trying to tell me what the F you think is going on. Please, I do all the effing work around here. I take care of everything around here. And if you think I don't just because of something someone might tell you when they're mad, you're effing wrong. Janelle and David have been having marital issues for the last week or so, with Janelle even recently accusing David of stealing her debit cards. However, in her statement to TMZ on Tuesday, Janelle insisted that Jace running away had absolutely nothing to do with their fighting. We do not argue in front of our children or fight in front of our kids, Janelle said. Update. On Wednesday, Janelle took to Instagram to deny the claim made in the police report. How are you going to deny... My son was not found because of Snapchat, Janelle wrote. There are lots of rumors going around about what happened. I would like to take this time to give my son privacy and appreciate if the public would do the same. Thank you. In other words, she would like you to just be quiet and drop it because she was wrong and she was just caught in a lie. Okay. Last article by the Ashleys. This was one day ago. Janelle Evans, surprise, surprise, Janelle Evans says she's cut off mom Barbara again after Barbara claims Janelle stopped giving son Jace his ADHD meds and therapy sessions after regained custody. Wow. Fuck. And you had to take away his therapy sessions, too. You know how much the boy probably needed that? Janelle Evans and her mother, Barbara, are once again at odds after attempting to get along in the months after Barb allowed Janelle to regain custody of her son, Jace. After Barbara spoke to TMZ on Thursday about her fears for Jace, who has been living on Janelle's little piece of swampy heaven, the land, since March... Janelle hit the interwebs to let her followers know that has cut off her mom sent once again. In her interview with TMZ on Thursday, Barbara claimed that since Jace went to live with Janelle, the fire teen mom two star has stopped giving the 14 year old the ADHD medication he's been on for the past seven years. Barb also stated that Jace is no longer seeing his behavior specialist. Barbara said she believes that Jace's recent attempt to run away from his school was due to him being off of his medication and without his behaviorist. Yeah, it could have been. Barbara says Janelle's not talking to her, so she doesn't have any more info about why her grandson ran off, but she squarely blames his issues at school on the lack of medication and therapy, TMZ reported. Barbara also confirmed the Ashley's previous report that the real reason she gave custody of Jace back to Janelle was because he had become too much for her to handle. Janelle claimed that she and her mother decided together that Janelle was in a good place to regain custody. 
Barbara says she isn't looking to regain custody of Jace as she's getting older and his behavior is too much for her to handle. She just wants to make sure what happened Tuesday doesn't happen again. That's so sad. TMZ also contacted Janelle for the story, and the lady of the land denied Babs' claims that Jace hasn't seen his behavior therapist. Barbara has not been in contact with Jay since Monday. I have cut off contact with her as of three weeks ago. Barbara doesn't have any idea what is going on inside my home. Jace had a therapist appointment today on Zoom at 10.30 a.m. She hasn't even attempted to speak to Jace directly, Janelle said. Well, you probably wouldn't let her. TMZ pointed out that it's unclear if Jace had the appointment already or if Janelle scheduled one ASAP due to what's been happening this week. She was trying to save her ass. I bet you the appointment was already made, like Barbara made it already, or she tried to make it and save her ass. It's also important to note that Janelle didn't actually deny Barbara's claims that Jace is no longer on his medication or seeing his therapist regularly. You don't take nobody, especially a kid, but nobody off no dang medication that they've been on for fucking years, dumbass. She should know that with all the drugs she's been taking. <sighs> From there, Janelle took to her social media accounts to further blast her mother. In her post, Janelle encouraged fans not to believe Barbara. Cut my own mother off again, and she has to keep going with the articles. Doesn't call to check up, doesn't ask me how he is, but talks to TMZ to give updates. She knows nothing about, Janelle wrote. Please do not give anything my mother is saying to the media at this time. The truth will prevail, and I'll soon tell, <laughs> and I'll soon tell you when the time is right, which will be never. You will never hear about this again. How could she tell TMZ updates if she doesn't ever talk to y'all? <sighs> 